you're watching the buck stops here and I'm Barkha Dutt. On the program this evening, the United States of America sends its number three official in the US State Department to India ahead of the strategic dialogue between New Delhi and Washington. At a time when many believe the relationship is no longer what it used to be. Is the relationship in danger of being adrift? Well, Ambassador Wendy Sherman tackles these questions and more. And also the most prickly question of all, Iran, will Iran be an irritant in the US-India equation? All of this is of course coming at a time when many leading intellectuals in India have argued that it's time for India to embrace a new version of non-alignment. Can India afford that? That's what we'll be debating on the buck stops here today as we ask whether India can afford to remain non-aligned on the issue of Iran or any other issue for that matter and whether Iran will be an irritant in the US-India equation. All right, but before we come to that debate, let's start with our newsmaker this evening, Ambassador Wendy Sherman, tackling questions from me on a range of issues, including whether it's true that the United States of America and Pakistan today have a worse and more volatile relationship than India and Pakistan. Wendy Sherman, our newsmaker tonight. Ahead of the next round of the strategic dialogue between the United States and India, where does the equation between Washington and New Delhi stand? What's working and what's not? What are the irritants? For example, how big an irritant is Iran? What about the volatility of the subcontinent with what many believe is a deteriorating relationship between the United States and Pakistan? To address all of these questions and much more, I'm joined now by the U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, Wendy Sherman. Pleasure to have you on the program, Ms. Sherman. Good to be with you. Thank you. How's the trip been so far? Uh, the trip has been great. It is always wonderful to come to India. I've been here many times and delighted to be here again in my official capacity. You have an interesting city on your itinerary, Patna in Bihar. How come? Uh, well, I wanted to uh, get outside of Delhi. I love coming to Delhi and seeing lots of old friends and, of course, having government meetings. But I think whenever you go to a country, it's important to get outside the capital and see what's really happening. And there have been a lot of terrific press stories about what's happening in Bihar, uh, a state that has uh, great poverty mm -hmm. but has made enormous strides, is seeing uh, impressive growth numbers, increasing literacy, uh, businesses arriving. Uh, and it shows what governance and uh, commitment and making uh, education and growth a priority can accomplish. And so I want to go see what the citizens and the government of Bihar are doing. Interesting. Now, in your speech at the American Center, you addressed the cynics uh, in the media and in other corners that speak about the relationship between Washington and Delhi being adrift. And you said, I'm no cheerleader, but you felt that many of these differences were overemphasized, that they were tactical rather than strategic. What gives you that optimism? Uh, well, I think what gives me the optimism is how much we have accomplished together. There's an extraordinary list of things that we've done together in the field of technology, in the field of defense co-production and co-development, in the fields of agriculture, uh, business relations, public-private partnerships, uh, health care. Uh, and I see that just strengthening over the years to come. Uh, both the United States and India are powers in the world. Uh, and uh, everything in the world these days is interconnected. And so it takes these very strong strategic partnerships, uh, what President Obama has called uh, really the indispensable partnership, uh, to try to solve some of those very tough problems. You mentioned Iran, for instance. Yes, I was coming to that. I was sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> One of the very tough security issues confronting the world. Uh, the entire international community is very concerned that Iran is on a path to acquire a nuclear weapon. India has long been a leader in nonproliferation, and four times both India and the United States have voted at the IAE, the International Atomic Energy Agency, uh, for resolutions uh, that say to Iran, we don't think you're really answering the questions of the international community about whether you do have a nuclear weapons program. Iran is, of course, uh, can have peaceful nuclear energy if it meets its international obligations. But there's great concern, and we've had UN Security Council resolutions to this effect, uh, that Iran is, in fact, 
trying to develop a nuclear weapon. And so India and the United States together are trying to meet that challenge. Sometimes we have a little bit of a difference on tactics, uh, how uh, effective sanctions are, uh, whether in fact there are other ways uh, to move forward. But we both agree that this issue has to be addressed. We both want dialogue to address it. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.